mind exercises. Okay, it's been a while. Oh, let me get back into mind exercise mode. <laughs> so today I'm going to talk to you about carbs and our inability to minimize them, maybe because of food addiction or what we're telling ourselves insulin, hunger, all that kind of stuff, but talking to you casually, like if you were just right here, right here next to me, okay? So I'm going to give out some information that you can think about, ponder, fight against in your head, whatever. It's just information for you to, to think about, research on your own. I will give you some research places to, to listen to podcasts and etc. if you want more information on this stuff, just to open your mind and to look at other possibilities of how to fuel our bodies well, okay? So first off, if you're struggling with weight and you're looking at other people and you're searching online, right, and you're you're just so confused because there's so much information out there. Join the club, right? We are all in the same boat. But if we take that confusion and do nothing with it and go, I'm just confused, I'm, I'm not going to do anything. Do you want to be that person, right? So, I mean, yes or no, and no shame. If that's where you are, accept it and see, do you really want to be that person that gets really confused and does nothing? I would assume after you say yes, I am, or yes, in a few minutes, day, a week, you might say, I don't want to be that person, you know? And then there's different things that work for different people. What works for a man is different than works for a woman. What works for a 20-year-old woman doesn't work for a 40-year-old woman. It depends on where you are, what you like eating, what the results you want, how much body fat you have and want to lose, how much muscle mass do you have, how much, how many meals do you eat in a day, how much do you exercise? I mean, right, so now we're all like, blah, but that's good to know that there's not one diet that you're just going to click and it works for her, so it's going to work for you. That is a myth and it doesn't exist. So if you're in that mindset that you're all, well, what do you eat? What do you do? It doesn't matter. Who cares? Right? If people ask me at the gym or somewhere, I'll slightly tell them, but then I say all the time, it's like, but you're not me at all. So keep that in mind. Don't be looking at, oh, but she can eat donuts. Yeah, because maybe she's 20 years old and has no body fat. So if you think, oh, I can eat donuts and lose body fat because she is, you're lying to yourself. Okay, so let's get that on the table. Okay, so you, you're hearing probably a lot of low carb, cut your carbs, minimize carbs, blah, blah, blah. So when I say that, where do you go? Are you like, oh, I can't cut my carbs. I'm not going to cut my carbs. There's no way. Many of us are there, and that is fine. But stay in that for a second, because we all have that pushback of, oh, I can't live without bread. Is that really true? Do you really want to be a person that does not, and it's not all about losing weight either. I'm starting there, but do you want to be metabolically unhealthy? Do you want to lead yourself to diabetes? Do you want to lead actually every single disease, every single disease? is caused by inflammation, which is caused by too much sugar, which are carbs. So remember that. And carbs isn't just sugar, cupcakes, cookies, right? Carbs are sweet potatoes, quinoa, rice, bread, brown rice, whole grain, cereal, oatmeal, and I'm not saying that those are bad. 
right? Wherever you fall on your spectrum, they're not bad. I just want you to be aware vegetables are carbs. Fruit is a carb, okay? So just be aware, that's your first, first step, is be aware of what is a carb? Am I eating too many? How much is too many for me? Am I even aware? Am I tracking? Am I looking at what I'm eating? There's many people out there that I know that think they are being healthy because of the media or because of hurt. Healthy food is stamped on the sugar cereal or orange juice and toast is healthy. Maybe for the 20 year old or 30 year old with no body fat and, and healthy state of insulin, but if you are struggling with weight and can't lose weight and you're unhealthy and you have an autoimmune disease, toast, juice, oatmeal with raisins and sugar might not be the best for you. And I hope that you can kind of see that or at least be open to the possibility that that might be true. I'm not saying cut it out forever. I'm saying open your mind and look at what you're fueling your body with. So higher insulin, higher glucose, higher sugar levels in our body, okay, higher and then we go down. We spike it and we go down. We spike it and we go down. The more that you do that during your day, the worse off your health is, your metabolic health. We need to stay more steady if we want to be healthy, not only for weight loss, for depression. Sugar causes depression and anxiety in our brain because inflammation causes all these issues in our body. And I know many of you are like, not even ever have thought that food is a thing. I'm here to tell you, food is the thing. Food is the thing. Every bite of food we put in our mouth is telling your hormones and insulin and blood sugar how to behave. Everything you put in your body is going to create who you are and how you feel, period. How can we deny that? Everybody that fights me on that, it's like, okay, would you put sugar and Skittles and poison into your car? That, no. So why would you put poison and toxic chemicals and crap into your body? Because that's what you're going to, like that saying, you are what you eat. Hello? You are what you eat. Okay? So, here's some questions for you to think about. How many carbs am I eating a day? Are you open to just looking at that? And I don't mean like exact and log and get all stressed about it. No. But how many carbs are you eating? Are you having oatmeal with raisins and juice and toast for breakfast? And then are you having soda and a sandwich with bread for lunch? And then, but before that you had a snack, you had to have a granola bar. And then after lunch you're, you're starving so you're gonna have fruit. And then for dinner you're gonna have baked potato with a little bit of chicken and broccoli. So if that's you, or somewhere in there, that is a lot of carbs. A lot of carbs. So I'm not saying good or bad. I'm just saying that's a lot of insulin rising and a lot of blood sugar rising. So we need to look at where you are. So also, hunger hormones are not dismissed with carbs. They actually get worse. That's why you need snacks. People that you know that can eat twice a day with no snacks and you think, oh my gosh, how do they do that? It's because they're not eating carbs, 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 which makes you hungry, which makes you gain weight, which makes you go down the diabetes tunnel of sickness and disease. So we need 
more protein and fat, healthy fat. So eating more protein and fat will keep you satiated. That will keep you more full. Healthy fats and protein. We're not afraid of protein, girls. We're not afraid of red meat. We're not afraid of, sa of saturated fats. They're actually good for you. And they are nutrient dense. They will, you will actually help your blood panel by eating more saturated fats then cutting them out and doing more carbs and lean meat and no fat, low fat. There are so many studies and data to show that, and I'm going to tell you those at the end of what to listen to and what to look for. And try it, prove it to yourself, right? So if you could be a person that could eat steak and avocados and eggs, all of the eggs and and if you're eating dairy cheese and lose weight and be full and eat less and your blood markers get better and your diabetes goes away and your depression goes away how could that be a bad thing that's another question how can that be bad i'm not telling you to eat to not eat Unless you're into the fasting mode, we'll go out. We'll go there in another, another thing. So, fuel your body well. Look into healthy fats and protein. If you're in this first boat, just look at what you're eating. How many carbs are you eating? How, where is your healthy fat? Where are your proteins? Do you need to kind of play with that? and see where you are. Are you constantly hungry? That's a problem. That's your clue right there that you're not doing the right thing for your body because your body is starving. So if you're constantly having to eat every two hours, that's an issue. You could be, if you don't want to be constantly hungry and have headaches and have that hunger, what's that word? hangry feeling, then you have too many carbs and you're carb loading on carbs and we can help you with that if you want to eat more protein and fat, right? And then you won't be so hungry. You will lose weight because you're not carbs and carbs and eating all the time, right? So that eating every two hours or six meals a day was totally marketing. Totally marketing. There's no data to support that whatsoever. None. No data. Look for it. Let me know where it is. No data. Eating every two hours is a marketing scheme, right? It's breakfast is the most important me meal of the day is marketing, and we all fall for it. So first meal of the day might be the most important meal, but it doesn't have to be when you wake up unless you want it to and that works for you. My first meal of the day is at one o'clock and I am completely healthy and I'm lean and I'm strong and I eat twice a day, no snacks. So it is possible, not saying that you have to be me or like me, again, that, but just to show you that it could be a thing, I am a living testament that it is a thing. It is a thing. Okay, so that's, that's this first part. Then I'm going to build on that next time and build on that and build on that. But I think that's enough for now. So question for you to ask yourself, how many carbs am I eating a day roughly? Am I hungry constantly? Am I losing weight if, if that's your goal? Is my diabetes getting better? My blood sugars coming down? And are they stabilizing? How can I check that if I wanted to check that more often? What podcast? I want you to look and listen to. I have two. One's Diet Doctor, a podcast. I'm sure he has a website too. Diet Doctor is all doctors 
heart doctors, cardiologists talking about low carb, not saying zero carb unless you want to, that's awesome. Lowering our carbs and what they are doing to our society. Then low carb MD podcast as well is all about low carb doctors, people that have been on, that were diabetic that are no longer diabetic, people with depression and bipolar and schizophrenia that are no longer because they cut their carbs or minimize their carbs. It is a thing. I want you to be open to it. I know some of you are like, oh no, that's not a thing. I'm never cutting out my sugar, never cutting out my bread. How is that working for you? And if it's working for you, great. If it's not, be open and listen to those resources that I gave you, please. All right, if you need some extra coaching or health coaching, lifestyle coaching, I'm available for that as well. So reach out to me, blessedalicia at gmail.com, or many of you know me, so just talk to me face to face. And I will talk to you all about my 12-week program that will meet you where you are, wherever that is, and we can work on all of it together. Have a blessed day.